Narcissists are haters. A hater is someone who greatly dislikes a specified person or thing. They are often negative and critical. They are more focused on the absence rather than the presence of distinguishing features. They will often express adverse or disapproving comments or judgments. These comments or judgments are often designed to prevent your success or development. They can be harmful or unfavorable to you. The reason why they're hating is because they're envious and jealous. They experience discontentment and resentful longing aroused by your possessions, qualities or luck. They believe that you have something that they don't have, something that they are deficient of, or you have something that makes you superior to them. This creates a strong desire within them to have what you have or to be who you are. They witness your success or advantage and then they look at themselves and they experience bitterness anger or annoyance provoked by what they perceive to be unfair treatment. This is what makes them hate you. This is what causes the hostile behavior and friendliness or opposition. They don't hate you as a person. In many situations, they are not even able to establish or indicate who you are or what you're about. In some situations, they might regard you as sharing the same characteristics or thinking as someone else and associate you with them. But most often, what is triggering them to hate is your success or advantage. On the surface, it may seem as though this hate is towards you but it is actually towards themselves. When they witness your success or advantage, they look at themselves and identify a lack or deficiency of something. It may seem as though they hate you, but this hate that they feel towards themselves is just projected outwards. If the hater is a relationship partner, family member or friend, this can often occur when you begin to develop a certain level of success and they feel as though they are being left behind. They see you climbing above them towards a certain result or goal while they are still stuck at the bottom. In these situations, they could be triggered to experience envy and jealousy and they might desire to grab your legs and pull you back down to their level. When these haters are envious or jealous, they will reveal it to you at some point. They will make it clear to you that they do not like you. They might pretend to be on your side in the beginning. They might pretend as though they support you. But at some point, they will need to express their true feelings of envy and jealousy. When they are witnessing all of the things that you are doing, it causes them to feel unhappiness or d discomfort. They feel small or inadequate. They have to act on these feelings by disrupting what you've got going on. They have to interrupt the event, activity or process by causing a disturbance or problem. Or they will drastically alter or destroy the structure of whatever you're accomplishing. They have to do something to, de to demotivate or discourage you. They have to make you feel less eager to progress 
or cause you to lose confidence or enthusiasm. They have to prevent or try to prevent it by showing disapproval or creating difficulties. They have to try to persuade you against taking a certain action. This all stems from their feelings of envy and jealousy. They don't want anything to de develop or to grow. They don't want to acknowledge or accept it because it really hurts them. It makes them feel small or inadequate. The envy and jealousy can also cause them to stalk you. It can cause them to harass or persecute, persecute you with unwanted and obsessive attention where they will subject you to hostile behaviour, unfriendliness, opposition, resistance or dissent. They will subject you to cruel or inhumane treatment, willfully causing you pain or suffering and feeling no concern about it, spoiling or ruining any opportunities or chances of success. They will harass and annoy you persistently, subject you to aggressive pressure or intimidation, try to irritate you and make you angry, try to make you feel ashamed and foolish by injuring your dignity and pride. This all stems from their feelings of envy and jealousy, but at the same time, they actually admire you. They look at you as though you are something impressive or attractive. They recognize and admire your characteristic qualities or possessions. Which is why it makes such a strong and lasting impression on them. This is why it has such an impact on them. It influences them. It affects them. It leaves a mark where it stirs up all kinds of emotions and it may even excite or inspire them. But it also makes them feel small and inadequate where they feel that they are deficient in a certain quality, ability or possession. And this is what causes them to become envious and jealous of you. This is what causes them to pursue and consistently seek to engage with you. This is what causes them to continue to investigate or explore a certain idea or argument. It's their feelings of lack or deficiency which causes them to do these things. This is what preoccupies or fills their minds continually and to a pr troubling extent. It causes them stress and anxiety where they can't think about anything else. All they can think about is chasing you around because you've triggered them to reflect on their own deficiencies. And the only way that they can resolve that is by returning to the source. The source in their minds of what they believe to have caused those emotions. It creates an obsession and each time that they return to you to, re to release those emotions through hostility or ill treatment, it relieves the tension within them. It regulates their emotions, makes them feel better, gives them a little dopamine hit. And this is what creates the addiction where they will keep returning to you, the person they profess that they hate. The person that they claim to have a negative or undesirable quality or characteristic. When really they are constantly returning to you and stalking you because at some point they witness your qualities, abilities or possessions and it made them feel small and inadequate. This caused them to feel envious and jealous and it created a connection or bond between you and them 
but the only way that they can treat or relieve these emotions, other than self-reflecting and going within, is to return to the source that they believe had caused them to feel that way. It creates an obsession where they have to try and make you feel the way that they did when they had to witness your qualities, abilities or possessions. They obsessively stalk and harass you in an attempt to get you to feel the way that they do while being consumed with a desire to possess the qualities, abilities or possessions that you possess. It is a very ineffective and unpredictable way for them to behave and operate in life. But it is developed from them not being able to produce what they strongly desire. They watch and observe those who possess what they strongly desire and begin to hate them. They constantly have to express their feelings of dissatisfaction or annoyance about something because they are very ungrateful. They are not thankful or, or appreciative. All they can do is express their opinions in a negative way because they feel small and inadequate. They are only expressing how they feel inside and then projecting it onto, onto people or things outside of them. Dissatisfaction or annoyance can be expressed in a healthy way and it is natural to experience this at times. But it is not normal or healthy for it to be expressed in a persistent manner or for it to occur continuously over a period of time. Most often they are just looking for something to be wrong so they can express their inner dissatisfaction and annoyance which is really towards themselves and their own qualities, abilities or possessions. But they are just projecting it onto someone or something outside of them. People with this type of behaving and operating will always find something wrong because the problem isn't anything outside of them. The problem is within them. They feel small and inadequate. They have to be around other people so that they can reject their inner feelings of deficiency onto the people or things around them. It temporarily relieves their negative emotions when they express them and assign them to someone or something outside of them. When they cause disturbance or problems for other people, it makes them feel more comfortable. It makes them feel more relaxed. It frees them from stress or tension. And this can often create confusion or uncertainty around other people who may begin to believe that there is something wrong or deficient in the person or thing that they are criticizing when the only problem is that which is within the hater. The hater feels small and inadequate. They feel uncomfortable with the qualities, abilities or possessions of the people around them. The people or things around them can be perfectly fine, but the hater will always find evidence of something wrong because the problem is within them. It is expressed outwards and projected onto, onto the people and things around them, which creates the illusion as though something is wrong, when the only thing that is wrong is the scarce or lack mindset within the hater. The envy motivates them. It provides them with a reason for doing what they do. It motivates them to constantly criticize and tear people down. But it also makes them unable to experience happiness or contentment for anything. They cannot be grateful or appreciative for anything that they have. Because they are constantly comparing themselves to other people. They have to find faults, flaws or mistakes in other people to conceal the problems within them.
when you are happy and contented, you don't need to worry about what someone else has. You don't need to compare yourself with other people because you have a sense of trust and confidence in what you have. They're hating because they don't have a sense of trust or confidence in what they have. They don't have a firm belief in their reliability, truth or ability. They are more focused on your quality of performing consistently well, your quality or state of being true, your possession of the means or skill to do something, your talent, skill or proficiency in a particular area. This is what causes them to become envious. This is what causes them to become obsessed and start stalking you, harassing or persecuting you with unwanted and obsessive attention, trying to find faults, flaws or mistakes in who you are or what you're doing in an attempt to conceal the problems within them, to conceal the state of them being without or not having enough of something. When you are around them, all they can do is express their feelings of unhappiness and discontentment and project it onto you. They might start making accusations about you, claiming that you have done something wrong. They do this because they feel guilty and shameful for being envious of you. They feel as though they are engaged in something that is wrong. So they make accusations to make you feel like you've done something wrong. It's to project their feelings of guilt and shame onto you. It is also an attempt to prevent your success or development. They feel small and inadequate. And when they see that you're progressing and surpassing them, this is when they will begin to show their true nature. It can be quite upsetting and surprising to realize it but they are not happy for you and they are not going to support or give any kind of assistance to you because they're not happy or contented. They're not satisfied with what they have. They're not grateful. So the last thing that they're going to do is put you in a position or support or give assistance to you where you, you can be happy or contented. You can be satisfied because then that would be allowing you to surpass them. They would be allowing you to achieve something that they could never achieve. And that's why it doesn't matter what or how much these individuals have, whether it's their qualities, abilities or possessions. If they are not satisfied, if they are not grateful, they can still feel small and inadequate, which means that they can still be envious of you. This is why you should always avoid these types of people. Not only people who are not productive, but those who are not happy or contented. Observe what they are doing in their daily activities. Observe the conversations that, that they choose to engage in. If it's lacking good sense or judgment, if it's not about anything of any real meaning, if it's not going to help you progress, if it's not about growth or development. These types of conversations should reveal a lot of information about them to you. People who only talk about things on the surface without any real meaning, where it's lacking a depth of character or understanding, it reveals a lot about their characteristic way of thinking and their capacity for intelligent thought. You cannot be yourself around these types of people. They will only hate on you and try to tear you down. You have to detach from them. They are not going to assist or support you in any way. They choose to engage in causing harm, trouble or annoyance to people who are more successful and developed, more happy and contented.
and they choose to associate with people who are just unproductive as they are. In these types of situations, it can create groups of people who bond together over your destruction, over sabotaging or preventing your success and development, where the main focus becomes to bring you down to their level because they can't do it themselves. They do this so their reality can make sense, so they don't have to look at themselves as being inadequate. When that's all this is really about. Everything the hater does is just a, just a projection of their own inadequacies. It has nothing to do with you. But they will do whatever it takes to make you believe that it does. Or to make you feel small. Because then they don't have to look at themselves. Then they don't have to acknowledge or accept that the issue or problem is within them. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries you can email me at knoxforevercoaching at gmail.com. Check out the new merchandise in the Narx Forever store where you can purchase your own Narx Forever t-shirt, tank top or mug. The link is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.